it's always good to get an idea of what you expect to happen before you do the experiment. We already checked the activities of the three metals we're using, the zinc, the lead, and the copper, and we found that the zinc is more active a metal than either copper or lead. Lead is more active than copper. So in our experiments, we should see zinc replacing the lead and being oxidized to zinc nitrate and leaving lead metal uh, in the atomic form. The same way we expect zinc to replace copper sulfate and become zinc sulfate plus two. And we expect lead to replace the copper sulfate as well. Okay, we have three solutions. The copper sulfate, lead nitrate, and zinc chloride. We're going to add three, mill three milliliters of each. I'm sorry, I wanted you to see the table. We're also going to keep track of what happens and put in our observations in these rectangles as we go. This will probably help you in your uh, home experiment. All right, here we are adding uh, copper sulfate, two, two molar copper sulfate solution to the first three test tubes where we have a copper strip, a zinc strip, and a galvanized zinc nail already prepared. Here you can see we've added the lead nitrate to the next three test tubes. And we're about to add zinc chloride to the final three. We've waited 10 minutes. Now we're taking out the different strips and inspecting them. The copper seems unchanged. The lead strip is darkened, it's from the copper sulfate solution, and the galvanized nail seems to, seems, also seems to have reacted a little bit. You can see the difference in the copper uh, strip, there's no difference really by comparing it with an unreacted strip. And the galvanized nail, we're also comparing to how it looked without being put into the solution, before being put in the solution. A little bit of reaction. We fill in now uh, that the copper has not reacted with the copper sulfate solution. We write in NR for that. The lead darkened and the zinc reacted slightly. It appeared to react slightly. We do the same things with the lead solution, the lead nitrate, and the zinc chloride. Well, here we're inspecting the next set of samples and we see that the copper is unreacted, the lead darkened slightly. We didn't darken rather quite a bit. We didn't expect that. We didn't know quickly, what to make of that. The next lead was no reaction, that's correct. We expected that also. And the last one was maybe slight, maybe slight reaction. So there you have it. For your table, when you fill it out, the copper sulfate, no reaction with the copper metal, the lead sulfate, excuse me, the solid lead reacted, darkened anyhow, and the zinc slightly darkened. So we expected that. If you look up here, we expected the lead to react with the copper sulfate. To, with the, uh, what was it, lead to react with the copper sulfate. We expected the zinc to react with the copper sulfate. Be both of them were oxidized. Okay? But we did not expect the copper to react with the copper sulfate, and that's what we got. Everything's fine so far. But, our second set of observations with the zinc, the lead nitrate, 
2.2 molar lead nitrate, which is in the bottle labeled like that. I'm checking now to see maybe something's wrong with the materials. This is right. Copper should not have reacted. But somehow, the lead, solid lead darkened. Uh, we don't know why. And the zinc, again, very slightly uh, darkened. So the zinc might have reacted a little bit, and it should have. Okay, it bears out what our theory was. And on the last set of samples, we have no reaction with the copper, which we should have had. No reaction with the lead, finally, with no, which we should have. And maybe a tiny little bit with the zinc, and that shouldn't have happened either. So, you know, it's mostly, this is largely no reaction. So the zincs are probably, okay? I mean, that's figuring backwards, but uh, we have exactly what we expected to happen, except for the uh, lead, which darkens on the uh, lead nitrate solution. Right now, I have no idea why that occurred. But you can report these results. We're actually supposed to have no reaction here. This is supposed to be no reaction. But we had a reaction. And here it is. You can see it right there on the edge. The darkened lead down the bottom. There's no question, but there's darkened lead there. I would say offhand that the lead oxidized there. It had nothing to do with replacing lead. But that maybe the solution was a little bit strong, or even if it wasn't strong, uh, it oxidized to give us a different reaction. Okay, this is my guess. All right. So we'll check it later to see uh, about the strength of the solution of lead nitrate that we used. It may have been a little strong, or maybe the laboratory itself wasn't set up right, and we have to correct the laboratory. But those are the results, and they're the ones I want you to report in your, when you do your own lab, if you do your own lab. Report what you see if you do your own lab. Thank you. That's it.